This is just a quick little ditty on the development of teeth. Okay, we see that in the fetus, we're going to have invagination of the oral epithelium. Okay, and as it invaginates, it's going to form a bell if it's on the lower arcade or a cup on the upper arcade. That epithelium is going to differentiate so that we have an outer epithelium, which is referred to as the outer enamel epithelium, and then it has cells in the center that are stellate in appearance, so we refer to that as the stellate reticulum. And then the inner portion of that bell or cup is going to be made up of epithelium referred to as the inner enamel epithelium. Okay, so now this is surrounding mesenchymal tissue that we refer to as the dental pulp. Okay, some of this mesenchymal tissue is going to differentiate as we see going on up in here. Okay, now this whole thing is going to be surrounded by tissue known as a dental sac. Okay, so the dental sac is going to cover much of the erupting hypsodont tooth. Okay, so we see those cells from the mesenchyme or dental pulp are going to differentiate into what we refer to as odontoblasts. And as you see here, the odontoblasts are starting to lay down dentin. Okay, so the dentin begins to be formed first in the crown of the tooth. Then we have that inner enamel epithelium is going to differentiate further into what we know as ameloblasts. Okay, those ameloblasts then start to produce enamel. Okay, this continues for some time. And then shortly before eruption of the tooth, we're going to see the rim of the enamel organ moving downward like this, okay? And with it, odontoblasts that are forming the dentin of the roots of the teeth, okay? So then with the eruption of the tooth, we're going to see that the dental sac collapses down and it's going to collapse and just surround the roots of the tooth, okay? Some of these cells are going to then differentiate into cementoblasts, and they're going to form the cementum, which cements the tooth into the socket, okay? So the cementum, we're going to have Sharpie's fibers, which are going to make up the periodontal ligament that are going to go from the cementum into the alveolar bone. Okay, that is the ligament that needs to be broken down when you extract the tooth, is that periodontal ligament. Okay, so let's look at this histologically here. Here we can see the enamel organ and that inner enamel epithelium has differentiated into ameloblasts and it is laying down the enamel. Here we have what's known as the dental papilla which is basically the dental pulp. And we see the odontoblast within that producing the dentin. So now out here surrounding The tooth is our dental sac. Okay, let's look at this close up. Once again, here's the enamel organ. So we have our outer enamel epithelium out here, our stellate reticulum here, and then our inner enamel epithelium. So that inner enamel epithelium, once again, became the ameloblast forming the enamel and then down here we can see the odontoblast forming the dentin. Okay, if we take a look at a mature tooth we can see down here 
these connective tissue fibers of the periodontal ligament and this thin outer layer of the tooth root is the cementum and so this here is dentin so the Sharpie's fibers of that periodontal ligament are going to be embedding here within the alveolar bone and then embedding into that cementum to anchor the tooth into the socket. And if we come up and have a look up in here now, we're going to see once again the dentin out here and here are the odontoblasts producing them. Okay, and here's our pulp cavity. Now the odontoblasts are going to continue to produce dentin and so that the pulp cavity gets narrower and narrower as it's filled out with this dentin. Okay, so what we've looked at here are the brachiodont teeth. Let's have a quick look at the hypsodont tooth. Okay, so with the hypsodont tooth, with eruption, that dental sac doesn't collapse down towards the root it covers the whole of the erupting tooth so that we see after the tooth has erupted we're going to see cementum on that outer surface okay so that cementum not only is out here in this surface out here but it comes down into this infundibulum as well okay so a horse's teeth initially are going to be a little bit yellowish but then as that cementum wears down, we'll see the underlying enamel. So then they'll be shiny. Okay. And of course, on the inner surface, we have the dentin. And that is the development of the tooth.